Hey there, welcome back. Josh Hardy here with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Today we're looking at my 2032R uh, John Deere tractor. It's a 2017, got about 125 hours on it. Last week while moving some uh, firewood with the front end lower loaders, uh, I jumped down off the tractor, found a uh, black bolt uh, right at the, the base of the tractor. Wasn't sure if it was from my tractor or Jason's. We had been in the same area moving uh, a significant amount of firewood. Upon getting back to the house, we were able to isolate that there was a missing bolt from the front uh, axle. I'll show you a picture exactly here in a second. Uh, we had uh, one missing, uh, actually two missing, and on the other side two that were finger tight uh, loose. Seemed like a pretty significant issue when you've got bolts falling out of your, your uh, axle. We couldn't get the frame to align uh, with the hole so we could get the bolt in. Uh, we tried uh, putting the bucket down as you see it is here. Uh, so uh, we parked it, turned to the internet, I found on Green Tractor Talk a, uh, a post about somebody else with a 2017-2032R uh, username Big. Uh, and they had the exact same issue. Uh, bolts fell out, bolts were loose, and a number of others had commented as well. So uh, we knew I had an issue. I contacted Deer. They don't have a DTAC uh, case open for it. Uh, I'm out of warranty. You know, they offered to come pick it up at a fee and fix it for a fee. This is my local dealership, not John Deere themselves. But uh, after putting uh, a post out there as well as putting a post on Facebook on the John Deere uh, Compact Utility Tractor Community and the John Deere 2 Series uh, Tractor Community, I got a lot of helpful comments, uh, suggestions to buy, suggestions to buy a uh, spud wrench, which I did not possess, uh, I do now. Uh, this one was $44, I think I'll probably look for a cheaper one. This was at Tractor Supply. Usually I've seen them in the past in the bins. I just never actually thought about why I would need one. But you'd use this in to help align the bolts. This one's actually uh, probably too big. I don't know that would have been very useful. So uh, got to decide whether I keep it or take it back. Look for a cheaper one. Um, other suggestions were uh, what you see right here, which is put the front end uh, down, lift it up to where the tires are bar barely uh, touching. Again, we had tried that, didn't seem like a, a viable solution, um, but I just did it. And um, in doing so, I was able to, the, the bolts aligned perfectly. Um, so I think it's the flat surface. My driveway is not completely flat. The garage here is flat. I mean, it, it took uh, a matter of seconds to fix it. So we're still missing a bolt. Uh, the part numbers for the bolts I'm going to put in the uh, description or you can go to the John Deere catalog online. Uh, the ones that were in the post on uh, Green Tractor Forum I've updated with the ones that are now available. I called all the John Deere's. None of them had that part. Uh, they didn't actually reference the other part, but online the new part references the old part. So uh, you would have thought that they would have uh, had their systems updated to, uh, to do the reciprocal references and they don't. Um, so I'll put the parts in there. I'm gonna go pick up uh, some from there. Others I mentioned, you can just go to the hardware store. I looked at three places yesterday with no luck. Uh, it's a, I guess they said a 10.9 or a 10.9 uh, grade bolt. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, no luck at Tractor Supply either for finding that bolt. So. We've got it back together, pretty excited about it. I'm gonna figure out what the torque is supposed to be and put the torque wrench on them. Uh, apparently it was missing, the torque specs are missing from the John Deere uh, specs online, so I'm gonna call them and see if they have them. If you know what they are, feel free to put them in the comments. But uh, more importantly, check the bolts on your tractor. Uh, you know, safety is important and uh, shout out to Joe Lopez on uh, the Green Tractor Talk. He also commented on the Facebook communities uh, to also check the loader arm bolts. So I'm gonna go around and kind of check them all out because uh, you know I've got 125 hours of use. You know there's a lot of vibration uh, on the tractors. Uh, so you know some are saying this is pretty common. Doesn't feel like it should be that way having four bolts come loose in your in your front end uh, axle, but uh, you know. I'm not an expert in, uh, in heavy machinery mechanics, so I'll take that as the gospel and, uh, and just uh, keep an eye on it to be, to be safe. So 
Hopefully this will save you some time, uh, aggravation, money. Uh, I was going to pay quite a bit of money to have deer come pick it up. I didn't have a super heavy floor jack. I wasn't real comfortable with working with it up off the ground and I had it you know, pretty high to get the alignment where I was out there. So uh, be safe. If this helped you, please uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, if you get a chance, subscribe. We got a lot of great things coming from uh, Hardy Brothers Outdoors over the next, uh, uh, well, into the foreseeable future. So check us out. Uh, one last thing, if you're still hanging out, we're going to do a comparison on the 2032, the 1025, and the 4045, uh, I think it is, that, uh, that we have. Uh, and talk about the pros and cons of those and the implements that we have. So lots more tractor talk coming uh, as part of the channel. And uh, thank you very much. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.